Hello YouTube and um, welcome back to the channel. Um, so today we're going to carry on with um, the ballast in what I do. Um, I know it's been a while, I've had deadlines, um, stress, deadlines, more stress, more deadlines. So this time we're going to look at the ballast in. So you just need a few tools, this is how I do it, I do it slightly different. You can use one of the tools, the, um, the ballast layer, but I find it more therapeutic if I actually lay the ballast. So for this you need some ballast. For this one I'm using Woodland Scenic Medium Ballast. Some glue, um, that's a 50-50 contrast of water, PVA glue and a drop of the washing up liquid. And what the washing up liquid does is that allows the water and the glue to move freely along the ballast. A syringe. Needs a spray bottle with some water, which I have to go and get. Oh, I've got it here. And a tub. And with the tub, a spoon. Um, and all will become clear. So sit back, relax. We're going to do from here. Let's take them off. From here all the way down to the crossing where we got to last time. And we will hopefully see how this area develops. Um, so sit back and relax. So for this first bit, um, I've just got a cheap IKEA tub. That's what I had handy. I'll put some ballast in there, and that's really it. I'll shake it around, and I will put a spoonful of the sort of other sort of fine turf in and then mix it up in the oven for 30 minutes welcome to a cookery show okay so that's really it. oh the other thing you will need is a paintbrush so we'll just zoom in there and so it's quite simple, grab your spoon and just shake it in. Now this can be quite messy, um, I actually enjoy this and all I do is just start off with just get my fingers and just run it down. Both sides, both sides. Don't forget each side's sleepers. Um, th there are a couple of trade of thoughts. One is that you want the sleepers free of stones, but if you go and look at the actual railway, you do get the odd stones um, ballast on the actual sleepers itself. Um, it's down to individual taste. It's whatever you want to use personally and then that's really what you do so we can see there um, people use brush it's entirely up to you so we'll carry on this section and we will see how we what it looks like when we get down to the point and demonstrate what happens on the points So just simple, um, just fill up any other holes, just brush it along. And yeah, it's just as simple as that. A lot of people make a big deal out of ballasting. Um, you can imagine Network Rail having a, a hoo-ha about ballasting. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what happens. I'm not going to bore you with the whole video um, of me just scraping ballast along. 
but um, I probably will get the brush and just tidy up. So we'll come back in a second when I get to the point and show you what happened at the points. So welcome to the points. The bit we need to try and keep clear are in the runners there, there, just see them, and the movement of the blade. So this is where it can be a bit tricky. So you grab your thing and it's just really, really small amount. And this time I am actually going to use a brush for to get in. You want to you want to make sure your runners are clear because that will then allow good movement of your rolling stock over the points. It's a very very key aspect of keeping your railway moving. Otherwise, you're just going to open yourself to plenty of derailment within the point section and it really does become a pain because once that glue's dried you then gotta sort of wet it all to to then get a decent um sort of run on your point work but again it's just about taking your time there's there's no rush ballasting um, another tip you could do is when you've ballasted is to sort of just leave it. Um, I'm going to try something different with my mixture to sort of make, at the moment the, the ballast to me looks too new. Um, so I'll probably put some wash in the in the in the in the solution when I come to gluing down the or I could just spray it with um, sleeper grime all the way down but that's really how I overcome the the problem the points so you make sure you get your in there that's all clear I'm happy with that so I'll just show you in detail where excuse me so if we look in there so we've still got a bit of a As you can see, that's all clear in there. So I will now carry on up to the crossing, um, and then I'll show you the next stage of what what we're going to do. So join me in a moment. So I apologise about the lighting. So for the next stage, um, for the um, ballast in to stick it down you need to grab yourself some water I've got some just some plain water and all you're doing is just dampening the track if it wants to work dampen the track down this again helps the glue to set. I've gone for a bit of a messy track because there's a branch line. Okay, so that's that bit done. So for this section, um, I found my baluster. Um, we're going to see how well it works. So, nice simple. Let's move my brush out of the blown way. Is Put that, fill that with ballast. There is probably an easier way, but this is just a simple way to not make it as complicated. And then just run that along. Like 
there uh, caught on the end of the platform but that's fine and as you can see that's quite an easy easy way of doing it um, so again it's entirely up to you I need to go down by the edge of the platform with some more ballast just fill that up but yeah overall that's an easy way that took a lot more quicker um, if you haven't got the money it don't matter but at least there are ways of doing it so hopefully that's some help what we'll do next we will go through about what to do to stick your ballast down and then we will end the video there so I've left the track for a while um, overall I'm quite pleased with it there's some areas I do need to just top up um, as as required um, there's a little bit just there but should be no problem um, I just need to free the point up a little bit more later um, but I'll put a point motor in there I've got the point motor for that um, so the last thing left to do before we start testing any trains on the layout is to just rub the track down with a track rubber just to get any residue water off um, one thing is when you do spray water remember to keep the electrics off because electric and water do not mix and just yeah and that's it that's what you do so that what we're doing in a second we'll just run a loco up and back just to make sure that it's still working fine and that will conclude this part of this mini series the next part will be how I will then weather the ballast down and anything else I need to do but I also will make a start on the rest of this section of the layout so what we'll do now we'll send a loco up test and then back down again So here's my glue I've had made up for a while, um, probably that much that I've get. So all you do is get your syringe, the tip, unpop it first, that way when you go to draw up it's a lot easier. Um, trust me, I do this for my day job um, in the ambulance service, there we go. So ballast glue in there move that out of the way for a second and it's just simple all the way along let it soak in and then down the edge it's just as simple as that And that will work its way in um, over time and yeah will set nicely I know it looks a mess now but when we come back later and it's dried it will look fantastic it will set nicely cool so what I'll do I'll do the rest um, and then we'll come back when this is all driven um, dried in and um, finish the video there so I'll just send in um, just a class 47 up um, 47815 in Rail operations group, so as you can see, now running over the area fine. Happy with that. So we will send it back to the depot. So this will now conclude this episode. Um, thank you for watching, hope it's some help. 
and look forward to doing the next video soon. Thank you for watching, remember to like, comment and subscribe. So for now, goodbye.